Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I want to talk to you about using colors in CSS. One of the most common things that people do with CSS is use it to color the different elements on their website. And color can really make a huge difference in the way that your website looks and feels. Now, the main way that we can use color to style our HTML is just to come into an HTML tag. So for example, this header one tag. Let's say that I wanted to give this a different font color. Well, I can just specify the style and then inside here I can say color and this will control what the color of the font actually looks like. And over here, I can put in a color value. Now there's a bunch of different color values that we can use and a general rule is if it's a normal color, you can just type in its name. So I could type in like blue or red or purple. Um, maybe we'll type in green. So let's make the header one on our website green. And you can see when I update it here, then the header turns green and it works pretty well. But you might be wondering like what other colors can I use? So obviously you can use all of the normal colors, but there's actually a huge list of different colors that we can use. So I'm going to head over here into my browser and I have a page open and it's W3 schools and the page is called HTML color name. So it's w3schools.com forward slash colors forward slash colors underscore names. And this is going to give you a huge listing of all of the colors that you can use inside of CSS and their names. So you can see we have things like aqua, azure, black, blue, coral, cornflower blue, crimson. There's a huge listing here of color names. So why don't we try one of these? Uh, let's try this cornflower blue color. So I can just take this and instead of using green, we can just use cornflower blue. And now over here in my website, the header will update to use that color. So this is a really good website to go to to figure out all of the specific named colors that you can use and you can refer to all of these by name and you'll be able to use them. But there's also another way that we can use colors and you can define basically any color that you want. So I'm here on another W3Schools website and this is their HTML color picker. So it's just w3schools.com forward slash colors forward slash colors underscore picker. And this will allow you to basically select any possible color. You can see they have this like little color wheel over here that you can select colors from or you can click on this guy down here and it'll open up this color wheel. So you can, you know, select the custom color that you want from over here. And they also have something where you can control the RGB values. So down here, you can specify like specific RGB values and it'll show you exactly what the color is that you're selecting. Now, there's different ways that we can insert these different colors. So the first and most obvious way is to just refer to colors by name, but not every possible color is given a name inside of CSS. Only the ones that are like pretty common have names. Generally, if you're using a color that doesn't have a name, you're going to refer to it either using this hashtag and then a six digit color code, or you're going to use this RGB value and you're going to specify the R value, the G value and the B value, or you're going to use this HSL value, which works the same way as the RGB. You can actually use any of these formats to insert colors into your CSS. So I could pick a color over here. Maybe we'll pick this red color. And now I can just copy this hashtag code and I can actually just paste it right here in my color tag. So now when I update my website, you'll see that it's using this new color and you can either use this hashtag right here or we can use the other value. So we could use this RGB value and we could just paste that guy right in there and it's going to be the same or we could use this HSL value down here. And again, it's going to do exactly the same thing. So no matter how we format this, it's going to give us the same color. So really you can define different color schemes or color templates for your website, and then you can insert them into your website using either these RGB values or those hashtag values. And these can be applied to other things than just color. So I could also define like other attributes that would take a color. So like if I wanted, I could do background color. And now this will set the background color of the header to be that color. Or if you're using something like a border, like different borders will take colors. So you could have like one pixel, 
solid, and then this red color for a border, and it'll define the same thing. So you wanna use these colors in a bunch of different scenarios, but you can define literally any color that you want as long as you're able to find the like hashtag value or the RGB value. And you can do that using these cool tools. So like W3 School, W3 Schools has a tool, and you know, you can find these tools all over the internet. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.